In this guide, we'll walk you through four different methods to create a hamburger menu in ReadyMag. Whether you're looking for a quick, out-of-the-box solution or want to dive into more advanced customization, we've got you covered. This is the simplest way to create a hamburger menu in ReadyMag, perfect for those who want a quick setup with minimal customization. First, open the viewer settings in preview mode and enable the project menu option. After publishing the site, a hamburger menu icon will automatically appear in the corner of your project. Keep in mind that this icon is only visible on the published site. The hotspot method combines simplicity with customization, giving you a flexible and interactive way to design a hamburger menu without complicating the process. Start by adding a hotspot widget from the widget menu. This will bring up an icon and a pop-up on your screen. This is the beginning of your menu. Click on the pop-up text to type in your menu items. For each item, you can easily add a link by selecting the text and entering the page number or URL you want it to go to. You can create a link style that fits your design at this stage. Next, customize the icon by clicking the icon option in the default tab and selecting something that matches your style. You can scroll through the options or use the search bar to find the perfect icon. For a little extra flair, Choose a second icon in the On Click tab that appears after clicking. Let's use a Close icon for this. Don't forget to adjust the color to fit your design. You can even choose whether the icon sits behind or above the pop-up. Now, take a closer look at the pop-up settings. You can decide whether if the menu should appear on click or hover, adjust the corner radius, change the background color and opacity, add a border, and even toggle the shadow. You can also style the text just like any other text widget, ensuring that everything looks just right. Position the icon and pop-up exactly where you want them on the page. To fine-tune the appearance of your menu, use the margins. It's a handy way to adjust spacing and create a polished look. For a seamless experience across your site, Consider setting the hotspot widget to appear on all pages and above pages, so your menu is always accessible. Note that when the on all pages toggle is enabled, a new current tab appears in the link style settings. This allows you to customize the appearance of the link when you're on the page it leads to. Finally, hit preview to see your menu in action and make sure everything is working smoothly. A hamburger menu created with the hotspot widget can be closed by clicking anywhere outside of it. If you are seeking creative freedom, you can use animations to create a fully customizable hamburger menu with complete control over its design and interactive elements. The hamburger menu icon can be created using a text widget or a shape widget. In this chapter, we'll focus on the text widget method and explore the shape method in the next one. So, let's start by creating a text widget with your chosen text. Customize the text color, size, and position it where you want the menu to appear. Once that's done, add a text widget beneath the icon to list your menu items. It's easier to use a single text widget for all the items, and you can link each one to the right project page by selecting the text and entering the corresponding URL or page number. Additionally, you can add a background layer for the text to ensure it stands out and complements your design. Group the text layer and the background layer for easier management. This is especially useful for applying the same animation settings to both elements simultaneously. Go to the attributes of the grouped widgets and dive into the animation options. For example, you can set up an on-click animation with an opacity effect, adjusting it from 0 to 100 so the menu smoothly fades in when the icon is clicked. Don't forget to set the icon as the trigger for this animation. Let's take a look at what we've got so far. Great job! However, you might notice that the icon blends into the background once the menu is open. Let's solve this by adding another icon that contrasts with the background to serve as the close button. 
Since the menu icon is a text widget, we'll simply create a second text widget to act as the close button. We will temporarily disable the extra layer to adjust the position of the second icon and change its color. Next, let's animate these icons. For the original menu icon, the blue one, set up an on-click animation with an opacity effect, but this time, set it from 100 to 0, so it disappears when the menu opens. For the second, white icon, do the reverse, set the opacity from 0 to 100 so it appears when the menu opens. Set each icon, open and close, as a trigger for itself and for the other. Then, make sure these icons act as triggers for the grouped layer of the menu and background to ensure everything works correctly. Let's see what we've done. Nice work! Here are a few more tips to make working with animations easier. Use the Hide in Editor toggle to hide widgets with on-trigger animations in editor mode. This is helpful for large menus to save space, and it still keeps smaller menus tidy. Hidden widgets stay accessible in the widget bar and reappear when their trigger is activated. Note, the toggle works only for opacity animations starting at zero. Let's take a look at another useful feature. Go to the Widgets Animation Settings, select Display Settings, and enable the Reset toggle. This ensures that when you revisit a page where the menu was previously opened, it will reset and no longer stay open. And finally, as always, remember to pin your menu to the page. Plus, you can customize the appearance of the link when you're on the page it leads to by accessing the Current tab. What works well on a computer can feel cramped on smaller screens, while where a hamburger menu offers a streamlined, user-friendly navigation for all devices. Let's turn your fixed desktop menu into a responsive hamburger menu for mobile. To begin, click the device's icon in the left dock of the editor and add the mobile layout. Next, copy the widgets used in the desktop navigation bar. Hide the original menu text in the mobile viewport to avoid interfering with the desktop version, and adjust the styling of the copied widget to better fit the mobile design. Now, add a shape widget and pick an icon that will represent your hamburger menu. Customize its color and size, then position it where you want the menu to appear. The rest of the steps you already know, so simply repeat them while considering the new tasks at hand. This time, let's make it so the menu hides when a menu item is tapped. Just set the menu text as a trigger and you're all set. For the mobile version, we should also pin the menu for better accessibility. For a quick, stylish hamburger menu, presets are ideal. They offer ready-made solutions with the flexibility to customize the menu to your design needs. To start, open Editor and click the plus icon in the left dock, or use the W shortcut for quicker access. Once you're there, navigate to the Presets section and find the Menus category. Here, you'll see a variety of pre-built menu presets, each offering different styles and animations. Select the preset that best fits your project, and it will automatically be added to all layouts within your project. Just a heads up, after adding a preset, a text instruction will pop up on the screen, but feel free to delete it. Use Command- minus or Control- minus to zoom out the workspace to edit the menu. You can modify the text, colors, and animations to better align with your project's design. Every widget within the preset is fully customizable, just like any regular widget. Take some time to experiment with different animations and effects to make the menu uniquely yours. Great, let's take a look at how our menu looks. After you've customized the preset to your liking, you can save it for future use. Simply select the widget or group of widgets you've customized and click Save to Presets in its attributes. 
Your saved presets will then appear in the saved folder. If you're working on a team plan, you'll also have access to global presets, allowing you to share these customized elements across multiple projects. Now that you've mastered four methods for creating and customizing hamburger menus, you're ready to design unique and functional navigation for your projects. Find more tutorials and tips on readymag.com learn.